Hello, YouTube friends. This is Shay. Shay N5. That is my fireplace. Y'all see down in my family room going. It, it's a real wood burning flower fire place. There's the wood stacked up right there by it. Got that going so we can stay warm and cozy. And I'm in the house by myself for right now. Robert and Katie ran to the store. And Minnie's out at his house. And I'm sitting here in the living room at my desk. And I've got my little heater going running right here at my feet because I stay really cold and I like it really hot, but my family don't like it really hot. And I can't keep the heater up where I would keep it up if they'd let me. So I have to have that extra heat. Uh, and I'm drinking my water, peach mango. I've ate my breakfast, took my medicine. Uh, yes, I slept late. So I'm just getting up, but since they are gone to town, I figured this would be the best time to make my uh, clips for my vlog today. Today is Saturday, so we've got to do our Saturday Shades Nay Storytelling. This, this clip's not it. This is the first clip of the day, but I will be doing that one later. Uh... And I just wanted to, uh, see, it's hard. I don't know what to talk about, new or different. I don't know what to show, new or different, unless I've got something done that I've worked on, and I don't always have. And it's not like I've got other members of my family that I can vlog to doing different things and cute things. And, uh, one of these days, one of these days. So anyway, uh, I can't wait to uh, see everybody else's lunch bag craft kit when they get them and put them together. I've sent mine off to Yolanda. I've received mine from Dee and put it together and I've showed it to y'all. My sister, the Becca JB here on YouTube, has sent hers off to Dee. Has anybody else, Be Becca has not received hers yet. Has anybody else received yours? Uh, be sure to let me know. Don't forget to do your videos showing yourself opening it up to see what it is. And then, like I said, if you want to, to record while you're putting it together, that's fine too. But if not, once you get it put together, then do a video showing it, you know. And I'll make sure you, uh, if I'm, I think I'm pretty much subscribed to all of y'all, though. But, uh, if not, in case, make sure you PM it to me so I can be sure to get all of them. Okay? Alright, uh, our plans today, well, I'm gonna do what I can do around here. And, uh, on crafting and different things like that. Try to finish Tookie Bear's book. Uh, Saturdays is usually the days I play a lot of computer games, too. I have a Nancy Drew game I need to finish and play some more on my Minecraft. I'll never finish my Minecraft games. i got five going right now on there, and I'll never finish them. You can always go back on there and just keep playing and doing other stuff, you know. It's that kind of a game. Um, let's see, unless you get killed by monsters, but I'm not going to be working with the monsters so much to I get killed. So I ain't never going to get killed. <laughs> uh, I'm a chicken, scared cat. Um, let's see, we need to go to town. Well, I know my husband and Katie's done went to town. They went to the next town over, which is Johnson City. Katie had something she had to go pick up over there, so her daddy went with her. Um... When they get back, me and Albert needs to go grocery shopping. So we'll be doing that. Got paid yesterday. So I'll probably try to uh, get a few more little things. So maybe I'll have a small haul for y'all later too to show you. Not today necessarily, but like next week sometime or something to show it to you. All right. Toodaloo until the next question.
Okay, YouTube friends. This clip is our Saturday Shay's Name Story Time clip for today. Now, I have a vague memory. As y'all know, I'm keeping a list of the stories that I think of that I want to tell y'all. And as I tell them to y'all, I mark a line through them that I've done told you. Or at least I try to remember to, to do that so that I won't tell the story over. But a while ago, when I did, because the way I pick my stories, I pull up random.org. And then I count all the stories that I have not told on my list, and I put that number in. And of course, the small number is one, always. So I generate, and today it generated, I had 11 on my list, and it generated number 8. So, when I went back and, and counted to see which one number 8 was, I got to thinking about it, and I have a vague memory. It seems like I have already told y'all about this story, but I'm not totally positively. It might not have. It might have came up, but not have actually been a Shay's Nay's storytelling story. Do you understand what I'm saying? And then again, I may have done this on something totally different than a YouTube video. I don't remember, but it just I just do remember talking about this before. So I don't know. I want y'all to let me know once I tell y'all the story. Leave in the comments below if y'all have done heard me tell about this story or not before. Okay? My eyes is running water, so Having to dry them out. Okay. The name of our story today is... Drum roll, please. <laughs> the Red Velvet Shoes. <laughs> Who remembers the Red Velvet Shoes? <laughs> Becca. <laughs> Ta -da! <laughs> Here they are, the very ones. <laughs> well, that's not actually the ones that was on our feet, but just like them. <laughs> Do you remember these, Becca? <laughs> I love, I don't know, something about this excites me. Things that were in my past as a childhood, when I can see a picture of the exact thing, I just, I really get so excited and so happy. You know, I don't know why. I just do. But anyway. Okay. One of my sisters. Okay, I do not really exactly remember. I'm sure Becca can tell me. Had a pair of shoes like this when I was a little bitty girl. Okay, um, it could have been my oldest sister that lives in Wyoming, or it could have been Becca, the Becca JB, or it could have been both and was handed down. But it was their actual, or one of them, whosoever they were, it was their actual shoes. They actually wore them and used them in the right way. Now, what I mean by that, I was a little bitty girl, okay? Both of my sisters gets married. I'm the only one left at home. And they give me, or either leave them at home, anyway, I end up with these shoes. But, of course, these are adult shoes. And I'm a little bitty girl. But I loved them. So I always played in them. Not really dress up, but I would play. I would play like I was a grown up and that was my shoes and I was wearing them. And maybe that's how children play dress up. I don't know. But I loved them shoes and I would put them on 
and I would clunk around the house in them all the time. I loved it, and it was so fun. They were just like these. They had the plastic here and the bow on top. Now, after a while, what I'd done, or at least I think I did, because I know I'm like that today. I can't stand straps on my feet. Y'all know I don't wear nothing but flip-flops anyway. But it could have ended up being Becca. I don't think she, my older sister, Charlotte, would have done it. But Becca might have did. I don't know. Becca, tell me. Were you the one that cut the straps off of the shoe? Completely off to where it was just a slip-in shoe? Or did I do that to play in them better because I did not really like the straps on it? It was probably me, I feel like. But that's what I done. I cut the straps off you know, to make them come completely off the shoe. And yeah, it had a thing that would stick out. I couldn't get it, you know, right real close or whatever. But anyway, I cut them off. So they were then just slip-on shoes. Who's in there? Okay. I didn't know if Albert and him had walked in. So they were just slip-on shoes then, and it was easier for me to get my feet on them. And of course, because I was a little bitty girl, they were much bigger, you know. My heel probably came about right here and didn't go all the way to the back or something but I loved playing in them shoes it was so fun so that's my story for y'all today tell me if any of y'all ever remember seeing these kind of shoes did y'all ever have any of these kind of shoes did you have did your moms ever have any or did you ever have any friends that had these kind of shoes if you didn't have them or what did you like these kind do you remember this style back in the day now, <clears throat> on Google, you can go to Google search, and then you can click on images. And on images, you can put anything in there, and it brings up pictures of it. And that's how I found this. I put in 1970 red velvet clogs and pulled it up, and it brings a whole list, of course, of different things that's not even the color red and not even velvet, and that just bugs the, and irritates the living smile out of me. <laughs> but anyway, then you just scroll down it and bam, there they are. And I printed them out so I could show them to y'all. So here you go. Here is the, I'm trying to do a real close up of it. Here is the red velvet shoes. And Becca and y'all also, remember, tell me in the comments below, have y'all heard me tell this story before? Okay, that's the end of our storytelling for this week. Toodaloo until the next. Hello, YouTube friends. Y'all know who I am, Shay. <laughs> um, I'm dressed. I'm ready to go to town with my husband. Get some groceries for the house. We don't hardly have any food in this house. Um, I'm getting tired of the same old, same old foods. And Albert says he is, and he's tired of trying to come up with anything, and I can't come up with nothing. But yet, really and truly, I don't think he is tired of the same old foods. He could just eat forever on those things, and I get so tired of them. I'm, I want some new suggestions. So y'all give me some more some food suggestions. I think I'm going to see. See, my family hates to bake food. All they want to do is fry, 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 and that's fattening. And I don't like fried chicken. I want baked pork chops. So I'm going to see if he'll get some baked pork or some pork chops to bake. And I think I want a box of scalloped potatoes. And I know that's fattening too. Any kind of potatoes. But still. Alright, so leave me alone. I'm vlogging. Thank you. <laughs> so anyways. <clears throat> um, I kind of want some. We had not had any scalloped potatoes in a while. So I want to do that. What else would go good with that, y'all? Give me some suggestions in the comments below. Um, baked pork chops, scalloped potatoes, what else would go good with that? Let me know. And uh, I'm sitting here waiting on him to get home. They're on their way home, so they'll be, they're kind of close. They'll be here in a minute. That's why I'm already dressed and ready for us to go. Drinking another water. I done ate my lunch. It was some uh, corned beef. Love my corned beef. I have a watch here that I was going to show y'all. 
It's an old watch. I've had it for a long time, years ago, back when I lived in Mississippi. I don't know if you can see it very good. The face of it looks like that. The, well, I don't know. It's not. Two of them are out, looks like, on that side. No wonder. The first four, one, two, three, four, of those little doodads in there are different colors. And then the rest of them are just silver. Now, on this side, like I said, these two have come out. And, uh, but I might can find something to put in there and glue it in there myself. And then, uh, that. And it hooks like this. It has that kind of a hook. See? And, um, the battery died on it. And I, I'm taking it with me, go to Walmart, I'm going to get me a battery. Because I'm going to start wearing my watch again. So we're going to do that. Got to get groceries. And I want to, <coughs> excuse me, I want to, um, go to McDonald's and get me a caramel mocha. Yes, that would be delicious. And it would warm me up while I'm out in the cold. And I need watch me knock it off. Well, I need to find a box for some certain thing to melt it off. For some certain sister called the Becca JB. I don't have, I got boxes, but they're not big enough. They're too small. They're big enough as far as this away, but they're not deep enough. They're about like this. And you can see that's not like that. So, I ha we had one that me and Becca was sending this back and forth to each other. And, uh... But I had to use it for something else. It was the perfect size for something else that I had to send off. I wasn't ready to send this off, so I just used that. Well, now I don't have nothing to send this off in. So, Becca, this is the only thing that's holding me up on getting this sent back to you. It's the size box to put it in to mail it to you. If anybody don't know what this is, this is a little box that I found at a thrift store. And I bought it, and I filled it up with crafting goodies, crafting supplies and stuff. And then I mailed it to my sister, the Becca JB. I did not tell her anything about it. So she was surprised and excited and she loved it. And she kept the goodies. I had a note in there telling her to keep the goodies. The box we would share and we would take turns filling it up for each other and sending it to each other with goodies. So she kept it a while and filled it up with goodies and sent it back to me. And I received it and got all my goodies. So then I've kept it a while, and I have refilled it back up again. And now I'm ready to send it to her. I just, like I said, got to find the right size box to put it in to mail it to her. So y'all help me out. What kind of a box can I get that this would fit in? Let me know that down below in the comments. Okay. <clears throat> um. What else <clears throat> do I want to talk about? I don't know. I'm going to try to finish getting a few more little things to finish up a Christmas gift. And, um, while I'm out. And, um, what else? I have got, to, I still got to come up with something else to put in Tookie Boo's lap book to finish it up. So I can show it to y'all and so I can give it to him. i got to give it to him. It's got to be finished. And really and truly, it's all finished except for that part and then putting the ribbon around it to tie, help tie it close. Um, that one little section, i got to figure out something to put in there. Because next week, I'm going over there to keep them on Wednesday. Because Tuesday, I have to say, Tuesday and Thursday are my days. Katie goes Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. But next week... Um, I have a doctor's appointment Tuesday that I definitely need to go to and do not need to 
miss or cancel or postpone and put off to another time. I need to go tomorrow. I mean Tuesday. And if I do that, I can't keep the boys Tuesday. So me and Katie's going to trade out and I'm going to go Wednesday and she'll go Tuesday. So me going Wednesday is kind of perfect. I'm glad it worked out that way. I'm hoping to be finished with Tookie's lap book. Wednesday's the day that Miss Tony comes over to work with Tookie, and I had told her about the lap book, and I want to show it to her, plus give it to Tookie, and let her help him work with it and through it for the first time. Anyway, I want to see how she would work with him with it and all. So I'm excited about that, and I got to finish my aunt's lap book. It's going to be little stories, mystery type stories that I put in it. I don't know if I told y'all about it. I'm going to give her like three. It's going to be five different stories if I can come up with five. Um, and each story, I'm going to have three different little parts in it. You know, I'll tell part of the story. And then I'm going to have three different decision, decisions in that story. She'll have to choose which one she wants. One, two, or three. And when she chooses that, then she'll read that part and finish the story out. But she can go back and do it with all the different ways, too. And I wanted to do all five stories that way. And I'm going to have them in her little, got to be her story lap book or whatever. Me and her love some mystery stories and loves to make up stories and stuff like that. Anyways, um, what else can I talk about? What else? What else? What else? Can I talk about? When I finish Tookie's lap book and Aunt Bill's lap book, I really don't know what else I'll be working on. Um, <clears throat> I have a tote bag over here that I started a long time ago, two or three years ago. I've not finished. And so I'll probably start working on it. Start working on it. And when I finish it, I don't know how long it'll take me, probably two or three more years. <laughs> uh, when I finish it, then I will show it to y'all. So... I'm just trying to think of what else to talk about, you know, and all and everything, you know. I'm excited about getting a battery for my watch and wearing it again. I'm excited. I didn't know that there was them two pieces uh, missing. I hate that. Okay, this side is green, pink, green, dark pink, blue, and light pink. This one is light pink, blue. Okay, so it's still the same way. So the dark pink and the green are missing. <clears throat> I wonder if I could find something small enough in my bling bling stuff to kind of glue down in there. I don't know. I think what I have is like bigger. So I not know. What do y'all think? See how small that is? These two are missing and it, it's kind of, it goes kind of deep down in there. I don't know if y'all can tell that. But, uh, like the diamond thing would be pointed or whatever that is, you call that. Anyway, I guess I'll go for now on this one until he gets back and we go to town. And sometimes tonight I will try to do another clip for today. Uh, okay. Toodaloo, toodaloo. Hello, YouTube friends. This is Shay, Shan5. Yes, it's kind of dark. I'm back here in my bedroom. The only light I have on is the one in my closet, which is behind me, which would shine a glary light on it if I did like that. That's why I kind of turned it this way. So anyway, this is going to be the last the last clip of the vlog for today. Uh, went to him with hubby, and guess what he got? <laughs> Aren't they delicious? I love them. Mm mm mm. Can't wait to get into one, and I'm fixing to get me one here in a little bit as soon as I finish making this video or this clip. <laughs> um, guess who's back home? Yes, one week. Well, one week and one day, and she's back. My oldest daughter, Elizabeth. Yep, she's back home. She came in tonight, got here about, uh, well, somewhere between. 6.45 and 7. The job in Mississippi didn't pan out. The kids, Bailey and Cody and Miles' mama, didn't get her job that she thought she was going to get out of town. So she don't have to leave the kids. 
so she don't need one, no one to stay with them and wasn't paying Elizabeth so Elizabeth just came back home but she has also realized that she's not going to have the money to go to college this year come January so she's not going to worry about trying to do that right now either so she called them and disenrolled herself she will try to do it later on down the road once we figure out what we're going to do where we're going to we sell this house and where we're going to move and live and you know she can get a job and save some money back then maybe she can um, find another college to go to or something like that so anyway um, just wanted to update you on all that with this quick little um, clip to end the vlog for today and um, hope y'all enjoyed watching it thank you for watching it leave all your comments questions whatever down below in the comment section and toodaloo until tomorrow's vlog